How's everybody doing? I hope all is well. This is Mr. Bonome giving you another math skill for third grade. This is a subtraction strategy, counting down on a number line. Remember, it's a subtraction, and um, most of us like to add up on a number line, but I'm going to show you why you can also count down, because it makes sense. It's subtraction, right? So let's take a look. I'm going to write this equation. 423 minus 185 equals an unknown number. It's unknown. This is actually algebra. So what I want to do first is label the equation just so I understand what everything is. 423 in subtraction, we are starting with the whole and we're taking something away, which is a part to find another part. So this is the whole. I am going to take away a part to find that unknown part, finding the unknown. As I said, this is subtraction. We're going to use a number line, but I'm going to show why this part, part, whole is really helpful too. 423 is the whole. It's the larger number, 185 is a smaller number, and I have to find this other part. So this is a part, this is a part, and this is unknown right now. Friendly? Next step. I'm gonna use a number line. I'm gonna show you two ways you could do this. I'm first going to write my whole, which is like my end, and then I'm going to write the part, which is where I start. So I need to find the numbers in between, the space in between. How many numbers in between? The difference. One thing I could do is subtract and count down. I did minus 3 to get to a friendly number, 420. I could subtract a 20. To get to 400. If you know what else you have to do, you can pause the video right now and try it yourself, and then you can unpause to see if you are correct. So I'm at 400. I have to get to 185. I'm going to subtract a 100 to get to 300. I'm getting closer to 185. I'm going to subtract another 100. To get to 200 if I subtracted another 100 it would get me to 100 which is way 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 too far so what I am going to do I'm gonna subtract a 10 hmm 200 minus 10 190 I'm getting even closer to 185 then I'm going to subtract a five and now I'm at exactly 185 my last step is just to combine all of these together so I can find what that missing part is so I have a five plus a ten and a hundred and a one hundred and a twenty and a three one hundred plus one hundred two hundred Twenty and ten, thirty, five and three equals eight. Point two hundred plus thirty, two hundred thirty, two hundred thirty and eight, two hundred thirty eight. So that means that the missing part. The space, the numbers between 185 and 423 was 238. So 238 is that unknown number. That was one way of subtracting on a number line. I'm going to show you a different way now. So 
Sorry for all the squeaking. So the second way, I'm going to start at the hole, which is like my end. And instead of putting my part at the beginning, I'm going to actually jump back using that part. So I'm actually, this whole thing is going to be subtracting 185. Let's see how that looks. First, what I want to do, 185, I'll subtract 100 minus 100. 423 minus 100 is 323. Hmm. So out of 185, I took out 100. Next, what I want to do, I think I'm going to get it closer to a friendly number. So I'm going to subtract 20. So I took out a 20. Now I'm at 303. I'm even closer to a friendly number. I'm going to subtract 3. So I took out a 3 right there. Hmm. If I took a 20 out of 80, that means that there is 60 left. 60 left. And if I took a 3 out of 5, that means that there are 2 left. So I just got to 300. I used that 20, I used 100, I used the 3. Now I'm going to do 300 minus 60. I can even do smaller jumps. Six jumps of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And these are all minus 10. All minus 10. Or if you really know, you can do minus 60 all by itself. But this is 290, 280, 270, 260, 250, 240. When you're doing this on your paper, make sure you have space. Because I know it's all crammed up. So I just subtracted 60. And the last number I would have to subtract is a 2. So 240 minus 2. And I'm at 238, which is the same answer we got over here. Whew. I know that was a lot of work. Hopefully, you paused it in the beginning and you were able to see if you got this yourself. Now, this is only one subtraction strategy. There's so many different subtraction strategies that you may use and you may like one versus the other if you really like this one and you've been effective you've been getting the right answer and doing it not taking that long you know keep it up use this as your number one option and work on your other skills or strategies to try to like build them up all right so hopefully this was helpful and you didn't get a headache this is mr banon peace